All right, everybody, apparently there's a new AI tool that you can prompt with UI designs and it's called Combi, I guess, if that's how you pronounce that. Um, I found it here on Product Hunt this morning, 300 upvotes practically. And just to read what it states here, new ensemble and model uh, purpose-built tool to understand code like human devs. Prompt it with, UI, with great designs, get high quality UI code in seconds, no manual tags or auto layout needed logical DOM structure and React components, CSS with no hard-coded dimensions, which position absolute, that's kind of the typical way that some of these tools work. So this is very interesting. I have not actually used it yet. And so this is kind of like a, a, a shared experience where we get to see what this thing actually produces. Now, before we actually get to that part, I, I did create some designs, or, or I used some designs I already had created in a Figma file. So these are the designs. Some are real simple, all right? Just have some cards. Here's a join newsletter area. Here's an interesting little design. I actually created this as a part of the, uh, one, of the one of the many projects as a part of the advanced front ends course um, that I am releasing very shortly. Check the link in the YouTube description. Uh, we also have this design, which is kind of like an interesting sort of nav down here that would change these elements up here. Uh, we have a sidebar menu. We have this little section of a landing page you might find, which this might have, a, the tool might have a hard time because we're, we're kind of breaking conventions and going outside of a container like this. Um, and then we have the homepage of designcourse.com. All right, so this is obviously a more full-fledged example, and we're gonna see if we could feed these examples to this tool that I have not used yet. I haven't even created the account. So let's go ahead and actually get started. I did read real quickly some of their documentation that kind of helps you steer the AI in the correct direction if needed. So let's get started. I uh, sign in with Google. <laughs> All right, connect your Figma, Figma account. This is a little bit long-winded, but uh, integrate your Figma account to easily import design files without having, okay, blah, blah, blah. Let's connect Figma. Okay, so apparently you just copy a Figma frame and paste it in this tiny little area here. By the way, they definitely need some uh, UI updates here, but something tells me they're probably more so developers than coders. <laughs> okay, so let's go ahead and get started here. Let's go to Figma, and I'm just gonna try this one. I mean, this should be simple enough. There's a button and then three cards. So we're gonna go ahead and select it. We're gonna right click, copy link. We're gonna go down here. We're gonna submit it in this little prompt section up here. All right, here it is. This is exciting stuff. Uh, loading your blah, blah, blah. Ooh. All right, so I had to look around to kind of figure out what the capabilities were. Um, it looks like you can only download the React code. You can't just get the raw HTML and CSS. Uh, you can kind of view it here in this DOM tree or so. Um, I think you can though, if I scroll down here, you can like grab a whole section and then just click on these little, this little menu button and then copy HTML, copy CSS, et cetera, et cetera. But looking at the actual HTML structure, if I select the background, um, it looks like it did a good job. So it takes everything, it puts it into a Flexbox uh, container. Uh, and then we have a two columns or two direct children underneath it, which makes sense. You have this area over here, and then you have the design system info. So it's really using you know good classes, uh, names at least. Uh, and then we have the design system info, which is also display flex right here, which makes sense. So then we have down here just you know for each card we have a Spark container, a title, and a uh, paragraph. This all 100% checks out to me. In a little bit, when you get more to a more complex example, perhaps I will um, download the React code and install it and just see exactly what it looks like in the browser. So, so far I'm very impressed, uh, although that was a simple example, but that's still very cool. Let's try yet another example. This is, this is exciting for the first time. All right, so, so far, just looking at this thing, it looks like it's done a pretty good job. And it, it's, let's see here. There, okay, now it generated the code. Um, so the only thing that you would have to change in this context is it didn't know to use an actual text field. It just has a div element, which is okay here because really 
it has the styling applied to it already over here in the CSS. Uh, and so it'd just be a little bit of minimal work uh, to get that working. All right, let's try yet another one. Now let's go ahead and try a more elaborate example. All right, and here it is. We can see it's kind of broken on the sides over here with this uh, section, specifically with the testimonials. Um, everything else looks to be pretty solid. I, we do have like a little issue with um, this offset icon as well. So, okay. I didn't expect it to nail it, especially, you know, on a brand new product. Uh, we can see we have kind of like no space next to or enroll right there. Um, so it's 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 done a pretty good job with this one, but, you know, obviously it's not 100%. It's not a tool that's going to get you 100% of the way there uh, by default. So let's download that React as well and then test this out in the actual browser. All right, so I have four of those projects ready to go. I haven't actually uh, installed the dependencies yet, but if you download the React code and then you open it up in Visual Studio Code, you'll see the README. It's gonna just tell you, it, tell, it contains all the code to generate the preview of the node you've selected in Figma. Run npm install, so you're gonna need the node package manager, of course, in order to run that. So if I open up a new terminal, terminal here, and I'm just gonna run npm install, and we'll see what happens here in a second. Come on, come on, come on, load, load, load. All right, so npm run dev after installation does take a little bit of time. Let's allow access. All right, okay, so clearly it doesn't give you like the full expected version of what you want. Um, this does have some issues. We have some white space over here on the right. Um, it's, so it's not quite ideal. You would have to get in there, obviously, and rework this. So is it responsive? No, um, it's not, you know, it looks like it's almost everything is just like in a big position, you know, absolute hard-coded width and height container. So if I look at the actual outputted HTML, we have, I'm just not sure, up, oh, yeah, right there. Well, no, yeah, we have a minimum width. So it's not it's not responsive at all, at least in the context of just you know taking this browser and moving it in and out. So unfortunately, I thought this was gonna it was gonna not nail this one. I did know to make this a button or a clickable link, but this is I uh, yeah not quite ideal so far. Let's check out some of the other examples. I'm gonna do that same process and we'll look at the uh, actual end result in the browser. All right, and finally here is the full layout. All right, so I know I can real quickly make an adjustment here that's gonna make this look a thousand times better. We're gonna select the background. We're gonna give it our, the body element. I'm just gonna quickly give it a background of uh, black, and then that'll enable me to get the color picker and choose that color. Well, I don't think it was working because I was zoomed up. There we go. And then we'll also take this same element and we'll do a display grid, place, content, center. Okay. So that's much better. And clearly we could see issues. Like for instance, we have this overlapping issue here. And then again, just take a, a mental snapshot of this layout and then we'll compare it right here against the actual layout uh, in Figma. This is what was fed and this is what was produced. Now give, mind you, this is kind of more of a complex layout with this little background image here. Um, it's over here instead of being on, over the, in that area. Uh, but it did get some things right. Like this is all perfect right here. Need that space. These aren't clickable links. Um, no huge deal. This part, I'm not sure why it has all of this massive white space. If you see the design, the original design, it's not like that at all. So I'm not sure why it would kind of space those out like that. Um, the next part of the design is this area down here. Again, it's being cut off, uh, but it did pretty much nail these middle three cards uh, if we compare those to right there. So those were actually pretty decent. And then of course we have the footer. We have a lot of white space between those links down there as compared to right here. So there are some minor discre discrepancies. How difficult is it to, to modify this information, this markup? It probably wouldn't be all that difficult because the HTML and CSS does look pretty clean. So all in all, 
my thoughts are it's actually pretty solid uh, for being kind of like the first tool that I've seen that will try to do this in an AI sort of way. It doesn't re make you do anything special uh, like with auto layout. Um, so you can kind of design without constraints. However, if you do try to feed it like a full design like this, it's not going to be perfect. And we also see it not really nail some of the other uh, simple examples either. So is it ready to you know for mass adoption and for people to really easily be able to use without minimal uh, influence of the code in, in HTML and CSS? No, not it's not at that point. But I think we'll I think we'll definitely probably get there sometime in the future. I just don't know when it is. Let me know what you think in the comments about a tool like this. And I will see you all very soon. Make sure to check out designcourse.com and the upcoming up uh, ah, sorry. And the upcoming advanced front ends course and I'll see you all very soon. Goodbye. If you enjoyed this video, check out designcourse.com where you can learn UI, UX, CSS, and more with my custom interactive platform that makes learning fun and easy.